Yeah, what's going on? It's Famous Top Spot USA. You're tuned to TSUSA Radio. And on the show today, I got Frankie Palmieri of the band Muir. We talk about their new album, Slave to the Game, re-signing to Victory Records, and everything in between. So let's get into it. It's no doubt that Amur has been picking up some major steam over the last few years, being as their last five studio albums since 07 surpassed each other on Billboard's Top 200. The band's latest offering, Slave to the Game, which landed at number 58, proves just how relentless these guys are. We've been busy, like, non-stop touring since 2005 and, re- and doing releases ever since 2003. You know, we just, it's, just, it's kind of just like the nature of the beats for us. You know, like, we put these out, you know, back in the day it was demos, and then we take the demos and we go fucking play everywhere, man, like literally anywhere we could at any moment. It didn't matter what day of the week it was, what hour it was. We got offered a show, we're going to play, you know, we're going to promote ourselves. And I mean, that, that, that work ethic, that like kind of like DIY, like do or die kind of attitude is what we've always had. And we continue to have that, you know, because we strive to do better and be better and continue to push our music. It's a strategy, you know, because we definitely like try to make the best moves and take the best opportunities we can. But we also, like I said, we have like an like a all or nothing kind of attitude. Like, we, always, we always said to each other, like, you know, once we drop the ball, you know, once we stop toying for a month or two two months, it's over. You know, because that's all that's all that window of time takes for uh, a couple of kids to go, oh, man, I haven't seen Amir in a while. Well, I saw other band last week. They were way cooler. You know, who cares? You know what I'm saying? Even though Amir had already finished their four-album commitment with Victory Records, Frankie explains why it was only fitting that they ink up and work with Victory again on Slave to the Game. For us, from, you know, bare bones, like, straight up, like, what the real deal is us and, and, and our label, the fact that, like, they do everything on their end correctly, and we try to do everything on our correctly. And we try to create music that, you know, they can put out there for us and hopefully people are fans are buying it and clicking you know because that's what a label does you know they they're going to be you know they're going to be seasonal with you you know i mean your album's going to come out they're going to promote the hell out of it you know and hopefully if your album is is really awesome it does really well you know and that's kind of like what the relationship we have with your been and you know luckily for us they also allow us you know the freedom to do whatever we want creatively you know like anything we want to do with the music or the aesthetic of the album or music videos they're cool like yeah do it you know what i mean they've never they've never put a red light on anything we've ever wanted to do the band. So, I mean, that I think is really just something that is incredible, really. It's something we've been really blessed and lucky to have that kind of freedom with, with Victory. And uh, as far as us re-signing and doing our album, I mean, truth is, dude, like, the continuity of being on our label that we put four albums on already is one of the best smart things we've ever done. Because, I mean, you gotta imagine this, you know, like, let's say, let's say there's 10,000 kids out there who every time our album comes out have gone to Victory Records directly the website or maybe, you know, uh, a in-store, like, box or something like that and be like, yeah, I'm getting that CD. That's I know to get it, you know, as opposed to maybe signing with, you know, you know, Jim Joe Records, you know, who those 10,000 people don't even know that label exists or don't realize that we re that label because they're not really concerned with stuff like that, you know, and I don't think every music fan is, uh, has a, you know, has a curiosity as to, like, yeah, well, what label you want, maybe care less, or oh, whatever, you, I love your band, you know what I mean, like, I don't care, when I was growing up, like, whatever label, like, you know, Poison the Law or whatever might have been on, that was not my concern, my concern is, your band's awesome, whatever record you put out, I want to get it, I don't care what label it's on. As far as, like, you know, she goes with Victory, it's fucking awesome. We're so happy that we, we were given the chance to resign. And, you know, shout out to them and everything for giving us the opportunity to put another, another record out, you know? Amongst many stops in between, this summer, Amir will embark on a nationwide arena tour. Frankie opens up about how stoked they are for it. Um, yeah, man, we're gonna go play the Bamboozle in a little while, uh, like a few weeks, and then um, in May, we're gonna go to Europe and do Download and some other huge festival there. But, I mean, uh, that's all exciting and can't really wait for any of it, but um, uh, in July, we're going on our first, like, ever, like, really huge fucking U.S. tour. And, I mean, like, the biggest thing we've ever done as a band, as individual, like, anything. And um, it's with Five Finger Death Punch, um, headlining Kill Source Direct Support, then Trivium, and then the card goes um, pop evil, Emir, God forbid. But yeah, that's like the biggest um, thing we've ever done. It's like doing like arenas. I mean, you know, I never thought at by 25 I'd be playing in a fucking arena, man. I mean, you know, when I was a little kid, that was just kind of like, that was like it, man. Like, I just I'm, I just envisioned myself being in a place like that, doing what I love. And the fact that this summer I'm actually going to get to do it, I, I can't even do it. It's like, I'm not, I don't, I don't watch the words, man. Like, straight up. That's, like, that's something I'm really, really excited about. To hear the longer version of this interview, make sure to go to Top Spot usa.com or pick up our TSUSA radio iPhone or Android app. To get more Amir, visit facebook.com slash Amir.